The PNR's railway system spans 78 kilometers and services an average of 60,000 passengers daily across 15 train crossings and 17 stations, making it easily one of the Philippines' most used public transportation modes, apart from its rich historical relevance. Under the Build, Build, Build campaign, the PNR overhauls its rolling stacks, facility and security methods with new AI technologies. The PNR management have procured CCTV intended for its original purpose for security monitoring against damage to properties like boom barriers and train collisions. One of PNR's initiative was to craft the terms of reference to align with government modernization programs. Contact tracing has also now been made almost seamless thanks to brand new a vigilant AI. PNR strategy for 2020 is digitalization. This project was originally conceptualized as a security and management monitoring tool, but because of COVID-19, this project paved the way for a more resilient Philippine National Railways. We are among the first in the transportation sector to implement this project and made use of the same technology as part of our COVID response. Since February 2020, PNR had been using the thermal gun in our facilities to determine the body temperature of our passengers and employees. The manual thermal scanning is not suitable for a transportation system like PNR because trips are timetable based. With vast coverage in terms of area jurisdiction and with minimal budget, the PNR was able to find a system that could address not just the need to identify a symptom of COVID-19, like the elevated body temperature, but at the same time it helped PNR in strictly implementing protocol using artificial intelligence and which system need not be manned by too many personnel but only by human verifier of events. I could say that this project is now PNR security, management and health monitoring and enforcement tool which is contactless and more efficient. Among new capabilities here in PNR are 24-7 Command and Control Center, 219 units of AI-equipped cameras that can store the most recent three months of footage, a network operation center, 10G network bandwidth, weather monitoring, and C4 emergency response, integrated signaling system, and a fully redundant network, and power backup UPS plus Genset. No more blind spots and video loss to ensure passenger and employee safety. 7K resolution cameras, a first in the country, are installed across stations that can record in ultra-high definition, able to zoom in on details with no loss in quality. Thermal screening with the use of security-grade thermal sensing cameras can detect body temperatures via skin exposure. There are 35 units of fever screening thermographic cameras recording 24-7, monitoring all passengers. Cameras will be able to detect face masks through the Focus Attention Interface, making identification of non-mask wearers seamless and efficient through live monitoring. Occupancy counting will display the number of people inside a facility real-time. This technology helps in maintaining and managing passenger traffic and making sure social distancing is observed at all times. Alarms are set when net occupancy is compromised. The new identity correlation report that functions as a contact tracing tool using the identity search technology can trace every location and path a potentially infected person within a secured site, including data on surrounding individuals exposed. All cameras are strategically placed throughout our facilities in all stations, lessening the need for face-to-face -face and on-ground monitoring keeping PNR personnel safe by minimizing passenger interaction. These are just a few of the digitalization upgrades made in PNR as of today. Soon, passengers will be able to pay via contactless mobile access payment in the turnstile, reducing necessity for physical interaction with ticketing booths. 
Additionally, PNR plans to venture into contactless apprehension system using automatic license plate recognition that can monitor vehicle registration plates who violate traffic regulations in railway intersections. Took it to the next level and the type of uh, technology by by not just uh, acquiring uh, CCTV system. Yun yung nakauwang na uh, procurement nung dumating ako dito. Transformation ng ginawa namin is we wanted to take it to the next level. So we were the first agency to adopt uh, artificial intelligence for its key purposes. Our artificial intelligence system is not uh, geared to record uh, video. That is not our objective. Our digitalization objective is to have a system uh, based on artificial intelligence to detect, to detect events. Uh, yung mga events na yun na laging nangyayari na sa luma naming right of way at luma naming tracks and stations. Nung kataon na dumating yung COVID-19, uh, na-adapt namin itong mga event uh, detection na uh, technology namin using artificial intelligence technology. Uh, na-adapt namin to for uh, Tracking of temperature, uh, face mask uh, detection, face shield detection, social distancing, and marami pa kami mga features na nilalagay dito. This is the next way forward, and uh, I think uh, the transformation of the Philippine National Railway Zone. PNR continues its dedication to the Filipino people with its innovation, consistent forward thinking to provide the best possible service from technology, better trained personnel, and improving facilities. We continue to strive for the service that the Filipino people deserve. Excellence and dedication remain at the forefront of our core values. A tradition worth 128 years. A tradition that will live for decades to come.